Hey guys, uh, so finally here. This is my new truck and I just picked it up today about 12 or 13 hours ago and I worked a full day about mm, 13 hours, 12 or 13 hours worth. Ran my clock right out, uh, right out of the gate. Uh, needless to say, I'm pretty tired. Um, so I've been up since 7 a.m. Uh, talking with my driver manager, getting out to Lancaster, PA, which is about an hour and a half to two hours drive, waited around for a little while for someone to come pick me up there, then drove back down to Maryland. I honestly forget the name of the town. I've seen it so many times today. And then got my truck. And he asked me, he says, do you need any would you like any training or you know you want to just you know we can throw you out there so you can start making money I said I like money let's make some money so basically what I'm doing is uh, it's not the over the road that I thought I was going to be that I was training on with my mentor as you have seen a little bit of um, it's dedicated work so basically staying in a certain area starting from a distribution center and going out to different stores dropping off a trailer picking up an empty going back to the distribution center picking up another one to another store uh, most guys do about three in a day they have a lot of day cabs that do work out of there so the guys get to go home every night because they live in the area uh, me I have to like I said drive from Philly to Lancaster leave my car um, but I'm picking up my truck. I'll be leaving this truck in Lancaster now when I go home. Um, but I am basically going to be out for, you know, five or six days a week or so, uh, running back and forth, sleeping here in the truck whenever I can, and then uh, starting the day over again tomorrow. Uh, like I said, today didn't exactly go as planned they threw three loads at me I got the first two done the first one was directly into DC traffic so yeah that was fun um, the second one wasn't so bad but I like I said had been up for so many hours so I started to get tired and then the third one well I'm in the middle of it right now it's still attached to the truck uh, 43,000 pounds or so of random stuff for big box stores. So I'm uh, in somewhere in Virginia. Actually, I know exactly where I am in Virginia. I'm not too far from my parents' place, about 20 miles north, um, at a small truck stop rest area uh, that I just found a spot to get into, and now I get to sleep. Got 10 hours off and then doing it all again tomorrow. So the video series might not come in as strong as I initially hoped because I am not doing the over the road. I'm not going to see the exciting places that I thought I was going to see. But one of the reasons why I chose the dedicated is the schedule is better uh, and pay is better. So it's shorter runs, but I'm closer to home and I go home more often so it will balance itself out uh, and in the long run this will be uh, beneficial uh, beneficial to me financially so with that being said you might not see or hear from you know life on the road as uh, as you may have originally thought um, there are no real truck stops up in this area in the mid-Atlantic, which is sad because I feel very comfortable and at home there. Um, also, that will hamper my daily or semi-daily routine, whereas I always stop at a truck stop. I always, you know, get this, get that wash my clothes, take a shower, that sort of thing, don't really have access to that anymore. I mean, I've got a week's worth of clothes here, but then again, as it stands, I might only be out for 
five days, six days. So I have that, go home for two days, then do my laundry. Shower, that's another story. I might figure that one out later on. Um, but yeah, uh, it's also being recorded on a new phone that I got last week. Um, unlimited data now. Don't have to worry about that. Don't have to worry about going over, paying twice as much as I should for just data. So, yeah. And, uh, got a lot of, you know, moving in to do, as you can see. I just have my sleeping bag out there. And one backpack. Um, I have some paperwork here, but I kind of need to finish cleaning. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to do it because literally the first thing I saw when I opened up the door of the truck was a wasp hanging out right up here. And I said, uh, no thank you. And I left the truck and I said to him, uh, yeah, we can't have that. So somebody else brought the truck around, hornets and everything left because the truck was sitting for about two weeks. Um, so they left and I've been driving around in it all day, in and out, and they haven't been so that was a uh, interesting start to uh, our truck and our relationship here so but yeah there's plenty more to be done and uh, you know I might just break it down to a few videos so thanks for hanging out guys I'll see you soon